I don't know. I'll probably would think that dude is crazy if I saw him face to face. I'm like, yo. So I'm gonna go here. Yes, yo. Yo, son. Hello, my name is Brennan. I'm from the United States. I am a US Marine combat veteran who has fought in Afghanistan. Now, I currently live in South Korea where I am a pro MMA fighter. I have not. I only know American, but I'm pretty sure if it's Korean Marine, I'm pretty sure it's roughly the same method as American Marines. A lot of it is really copied after the American Marines anyway. So I think if it's uh, Korean Marines, we'll have a lot of similarities. In America, we have three forms of camouflage, which is strike, blotch, combination. Oh, this is OEF. This is Enduring Freedom for Afghanistan. So I'm going to the color. So for example, if it was going to the woods, you would have black hair as well, but you don't. So you want to go with the actual complexion of your skin. So if my skin is actually brown, then I know I don't need brown because I'm already brown. If my face was shaven, then it would blend in perfectly. If my skin is brown, so I need to go with colors that don't have my skin complexion at all. So brown, I know I can't use because I already have that and it won't make sense. I'm gonna rub some of the green. And my favorite combination when I was in the Marine Corps was stripes. I hate I hate blotch because it's too complicated. Combination looks ugly, so I like stripes. So I'm gonna go here. Make sure you don't leave any part of your eyes with your natural color showing, because if you do, then you can be spotted. So you want to make sure that actually blending in like so. In your Kevlar, it will be protecting this back hair anyway, but you're gonna go down to your neck as well. I'm not gonna do that, because it's gonna take forever to wash. So I'm gonna do my face. So I'm going down to here. So I'm gonna go in. I will make sure I get, with, get rid of as much as possible of my natural skin color. This is actually a field mirror right here. And you can use in the field for shaving. Now I use my green already, so now I'm gonna go with my tan. I'm gonna go for the tan. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover my whole face and I'm just gonna wipe off half of it like so. So I cover both my face with the green and the tan. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just go straight down. Okay, now it's done. Yeah, this is the stripe method of camouflage. You have your green, brown, tan. Only method I've ever used in the Marine Corps was Stripe because it was fast and convenient. The blotching combination takes a long time, so I only use Stripe. I take green, go down the side of my face, brown, and then black when we had I had the other one. Or I can use, I do black, brown, green. So I mix it up, but I never use another type of uh, method because it takes too long to do. Oh, it's the same. This is the one I was talking about. This is the colors I use. Oh, where can I get this? I want to get one like this. I got that one, that which is for OEF. It's for the desert. This is for the trees and things. Today we'll be looking at camouflage. Okay. Oh, he's right there, right next to the boulder rock, right there with the hat on, the rifle. He's he's pointing down. Yeah, right there. Yep, that's him. Huh? If I was a marine, where would I be? This is gonna be difficult. So. If I was camouflaged, where about it? He's right there, at the bottom area right there. It looks like something like a rifle is right there, I'm not sure, but if I was willing to camouflage, I would want to have a lot of stuff around me. That's him right there. It looks like a rifle is right there. Yes. Ooh. It's really difficult. <laughs> I had to think, because it's been a while since I camouflaged myself, so I'm thinking, if I was a Marine and I wanted to be hidden, how would I camouflage myself? And also you can tell when someone camouflages with a lot of uh, moved terrain. If you see a lot of dirt taken away from one place, or you see something like scrape, tra things trailing scraped, you can tell someone is camouflaging. So if you want to camouflage at all, you want to take from the earth, but you don't want to take too much and make it seen, that, make it known that you're camouflage. You want to camouflage everything possible. One 
thing we do know is if we're looking at where I would personally attack someone, he's not at the, the big mountain there because it's too high. He wouldn't be around the rocks because the rocks would be disturbed and you can't camouflage with rocks. So if I were to look around, he would have to be, wait a minute. He's not camouflaged, it can't be camouflaged by rocks. That's literally impossible because you have to disturb the earth. So there, that little small dot right there. There, yes. Huh, interesting. Well, it was hit or miss. Whatever he did, he, he's good. He's definitely good, I can't take that away. Oh, I should have seen that rifle right there. I was thinking about if he was aiming downhill, not aiming uphill. Oh, that's what got me. I was thinking if I were to attack somebody, would I be attacking them coming from downhill up? I never think he will be attacking someone from uphill down. I see two, but possibly three, because I see a rifle right there at the very, very bottom. A one, two, and then if he's one right there, that's three. It looks like a rifle, I don't know for certain, but I didn't know it's two total. Oh, that's just too intense. If I was in the freaking forest and I seen guys pop up out of the blue that look like the forest, I'm just gonna be screaming. Ah! I don't know, guys that dress like that are freaking terrifying. Now, what would've been really cool is if they actually would've camouflaged their weapon as well. That would've been awesome. Camouflage it with the actual color, spray painting or something, with the color of the actual environment, would not be seen at all. Put some leaves on the top of it. Oh my God, it's a field day. It would take him forever to find them. Is he painting his face? Wow, I like that, that's cool. Last time I did the stripes going like diagonal, but I like going straight because it's faster and easier. Ooh, she looks so beautiful with the, oh, I like it. Eh? Is that like Joker? I don't know. I probably would think that dude is crazy if I saw him face to face. I'm like, yo, why are you just like the Joker dude? <laughs> That's not camouflage. Do you know why they did it like this? So they can be easier to clean up. I'm a Marine. I mean, I know all the tricks. So I know they did that so it can just be easy to clean because this is going to take a while to clean off my face. I'm like, huh. They're not soldiers, are they? No. I can tell. No disrespect, but yeah, I can definitely tell. Because their method is like, they just like went finger painting on their face. Oh man. Oh man, I respect it. He did his best. He's not a soldier, but yeah, yeah he did his best, so. So today, I came meet up and I reacted to Korean camouflage techniques and methods. This was pretty fun and brought back a lot of memories. If you guys have any other videos to re recommend to me, comment below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the near future. Peace out.